Hi, I'm Robert Riggs here with Brad Besaken for the Clarity Clip of the Week. Um, you know, we talked with Brian Sullivan. Brian is the creator here in Dallas of the Big Design Conference, uh, and he usually knocks people out of their seat uh, down at South by Southwest. But we talked about, what we like to talk about is what we call audience speak. Yeah, I mean, he says some real critical things, I think, in this video where he talks about how each of us speaks differently, right? Your, your mind kind of drives your, your, your thoughts and your speech and how each one of us talk differently. Um, even when we're talking about the same subject, you've had it happen, we've had it happen in our business discussions yeah. where somebody will say, well, I think we're saying the same thing, you're just saying it in a different way. Right. He speaks to that, but I think another critical piece that he speaks to is where he talks about that even within companies, you have these kind of silos, which we've talked before on a Clarity Clip where we talked about the silos of your business. And he talks about how Research and development will be talking about a product differently than marketing will. We'll be talking about differently than product development, et cetera, and how all these different little languages are out there and how we have to all kind of meet a common ground. Yeah, I think that one of the most interesting things when it comes to language, uh, a lot of the companies that are embracing design thinking, they're doing that so they can share a common language. People just talk differently, so... Uh, for, for example, a product developer will talk uh, different than a designer and they'll talk different than a marketing person. All of those people are then speaking to an audience or to a customer. So having that shared experience, that common language, uh, it kind of creates that first shared understanding. And again, well, so now Brian's talked about the importance of listening and wants all of the parts of your organization, you break down the silos and they're all speaking the same language. Now it's about how do you talk to your customers? Yeah, and he's fixing to talk about another key piece that we, you know, it's in our slogan, right? Yes. Listen, think, speak for clarity. That's our that's our little, our little marketing piece. And that's basically what he's going to say here in the next piece, which is you have to listen first to your customer base and your audience. Take it back. Think about it. Mm -hmm and then create that common language that you can all move forward with when you're talking to your customer. Here's Brian. The first step to creating anything interesting or creative is to have empathy, it's to listen, to figure out what are those things that your customers are saying, taking that back and using a common language with the people that will create the solutions for them so that everybody's all on the same page, they're using the same language, solving the right problem, and using similar tools in order to do it. So wrapping up what Brian has to say here is really what we talk about and we call audience speak, which is listen, think, speak. So Brad's going to walk you through those steps. Yeah, I mean, what the critical piece here, the take-home message that we always like to talk about in our Clarity Clips are, uh, audience speak is knowing the language of your audience and being sure you're speaking that language. You're not going to make connections, whether it's social media, uh, a TV advertisement, a billboard, whatever your marketing piece is, whether it's online or not, you have to know the language of your audience, which is what Brian was saying is create the common language, but don't you figure out what that language is. The marketing, you know, our little slogan is, you know, your marketing uh, your marketing for a particular product should come from your audience, yes, not the marketing, not department. the marketing yeah. department. So listen first. That's the critical piece. What are they wanting? What are they needing? What's that touch point that you can hit them at? So once you figure that kind of listening part out, then you have to develop the plan. Think about it, right? Then you have to go out and actually speak it. That's the listen, think, speak that we preach so much here at Clarity and what we always encourage our clients to do, which is listen first. It's about them, not you. So Brian's Big Design Conference is coming up this fall here in Dallas, and we'd certainly encourage you to attend it. There are great speakers there. And here's Brian's uh, contact info, and that wraps this week's Clarity Clip. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.